What's up, everybody? Um, I came on here to address this <clears throat> bull fucking shit claim that I cheated. Lies. Yeah. Everybody knows that I don't cheat. Um, Mm-mm. what can I say? You know, uh, why didn't they come out with this before? You know, the fight. Right. Yeah, great fight. What you think about the rematch possibly taking place again? Definitely rematch. Definitely rematch. Oh. What you make of Ryan's performance? Great performance. Mike Tyson has brutally expressed his disappointment at Ryan Garcia after failing substance tests after his win against Devin Haney. How are they gonna come out with it like after the fact? Supposedly they had it already, then why didn't they release it? They release it after I win? Following the news, Iron Mike Tyson and the whole boxing world aren't letting go of Ryan Garcia as they've brutally torn him apart with their words. And guess what? His win is about to be reversed after an appeal from Devin Haney. The fight between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia ended over a week ago, but having been dubbed as the fight of the year, it probably might live true to its name by ensuring we see a fight that truly spans a year. Following the fight, there were allegations from all angles pointing at Bill Haney and Devin Haney, accusing them of having something shady with referee Harvey Dock, whose officiating on the day glaringly favored Devin Haney. And since boxing is a sport that isn't totally void of situations and dirty cases of bribery and corruption, fingers were pointed at the Haney's for being involved in bribery. Why would they let me step into the ring right. as a cheater and then come out with a victory and then they post this, you know? Again, um, these are people that... Um... Top boxing professionals like Gervonta Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia, Henry Garcia were highly critical of the referee. However, not too long afterwards, everyone moved on and the case was dropped. Of course, in such a match, you'd hardly expect the judges to go scot-free. One of the judges who scored the match 112, 112 also received huge criticisms from boxing professionals and supporters for coming up with such a score in a match where Ryan Garcia was as dominant as a monster. Now, however, the most recent update about the match is one that could endanger Ryan Garcia's boxing career, having been savoring every moment of his big win for the past few days. A punishment for this offense would give a huge blow to whatever glow has characterized Ryan Garcia's boxing career in recent weeks, having been dubbed as the face of boxing. Yeah, no, I, I no, I tested the day of the fight. Nothing, and then all of a sudden it came out. Impressively, Ryan Garcia shocked the boxing world on April 20th when he dropped Devin Haney three times in the 7th, 10th, and 11th rounds en route to a majority decision victory. There was already an asterisk next to that victory after Garcia badly missed weight ahead of the bout. But things got worse on Wednesday evening after multiple reports stated Garcia failed a VEDA test ahead of the fight. Veteran boxing reporter Dan Raphael was the first to share a report of Garcia's failed test, claiming the result was related to the performance-enhancing substance, Osterine. According to the letter, Garcia tested positive for Osterine, a selective androgen receptor modulator that is not approved for human use or any kind of consumption in the United States. As a matter of fact, According to the United States Anti-Doping Agency and the World Anti-Doping Agency, it is prohibited in any country. Osterine used to prevent muscle loss and improve lean body mass and is used in the treatment of women with breast cancer. Rafael noted that Garcia tested positive on April 19th, the day before the fight, and on April 20th during his post-fight evaluation. Also, ESPN's Mike Coppinger then reported that they had obtained a VEDA letter confirming the situation. Garcia spent the build to the fight engaging in bizarre behavior, ranting on social media about various conspiracy theories, claiming to be in possession of proof of aliens, which he admitted after the fight. After the win, Garcia claimed this was all part of an elaborate plan to troll boxing fans, media, and Haney and his team. Were that the case, the plan appeared to work perfectly as Garcia pulled off the biggest win of his career. I don't even know where to get steroids at the end of the day. Um, I barely, you know, take uh, supplements. Um, they're saying it's coming from the ashwagandha. That's fucking retarded, so. However, if the test samples are confirmed to be positive, the results of the fight will likely be overturned to a no contest. The fight was originally planned as Garcia's first shot at a world championship, as well as an opportunity to prove he could hang with the sports elite after getting dropped twice and stopped by Gervonta Tank Davis in 2023. 
Of course, Garcia missing weight by more than three pounds meant that Garcia was ineligible to win Haney's WBC Junior Welterweight Championship. Ryan denied these reports on social media and went on to post that he was publicly talking about tests made during his training preparation. After posting a tweet featuring three crying emojis and LOL, Garcia briefly went live on X. You guys can see fake news, Garcia said. Fake freaking news. Don't believe these haters. I never freaking took a med in my freaking life. I don't even know how that stuff is. It's the weirdest stuff ever. Supposedly they had it already, but they released it after I won. It makes no sense. I tested the day of the fight. Nothing. Somebody paying somebody. How are they going to come out with it like after the fact? Supposedly they had it already. Then why didn't they release it? They release it after I win. Makes no sense. Garcia further denied wrongdoing in a profanity-laced post late Wednesday on X, formerly Twitter, describing it as fake news. Everybody knows that I don't cheat, Garcia said. What can I say? Why didn't they come out with this before the fight if they found it before? Why would they let me step into the ring as a cheater and then come out with a victory and post this? What's up, everybody? Um, I came on here to address this <clears throat> bull fucking shit claim that I cheated. Lies. Yep. Everybody knows that I don't cheat. Um, mm -mm. What can I say? You know, uh, why didn't they come out with this before? You know? He added, these are people that are trying to attack me for whatever reason. I've never taken a substance in my life. I don't even know where to get substance at the end of the day. I barely take supplements. Big lies, I beat him. They are trying to take my greatest victory away. Kind of sad when you think about it. Why in the world would I volunteer for a test if I planned on taking those substances? If they found it before, why would they let me step into the ring right. as a cheater and then come out with a victory and then they post this, you know? Again, um, these are people that um, are trying to attack me for whatever reason, but... Um, no. In a separate post, Garcia appeared to suggest a tainted herbal supplement was to blame for the test result. My bad, I shouldn't have taken this, Garcia wrote above a photo of a bottle marked ashwagandha root. According to sources, Ryan Garcia has 10 days to request his B sample to be tested. However, that might not save him in case the result of that test comes negative. In the meantime, Devin Haney has released a statement where he claims that Garcia cheated and disrespected both the fans and the sport of boxing by fighting dirty and breaking positive not once, but twice. We learned about this situation not too long ago, and it's unfortunate Ryan cheated and disrespected both the fans and the sport of boxing by fighting dirty and breaking positive not once, but twice. I've always been an advocate for clean fighting, and this is an example of such. Ryan owed the fans an apology, and by his recent tweet, he still thinks this is a joke. We put ourselves on the liner to entertain people for a living. You don't play boxing. He also added, this puts the fight in a completely different light. Despite the disadvantage, I still fought on my shield and got back up. People die in this sport. This isn't a joking matter. On getting the news, not just Ryan Garcia, but several other boxing professionals have reacted to Ryan Garcia's cunningness. And shockingly, many who had appeared friendly to Ryan Garcia and have even congratulated him for his victory have quickly changed their stance following the recent developments. He's one and all on you. Yeah. Those are the two biggest names in the division. I want to see it again. Yeah. I want to yeah. see it again now, and I want to see it with no rehydration They've now questioned his integrity and professionalism. In fact, those who have been out to join him in accusing referee Harvey Dock of favoring Devin Haney have quickly turned their backs against him. One of them is boxing legend and former undisputed world heavyweight champion Mike Tyson, who has largely maintained a neutral stance before and after the fight. Before the fight, he was seen visiting both boxers and wishing them well. And after the fight, while he was particularly happy for Ryan Garcia, he also had words of encouragement for Devin Haney. Now Mike Tyson has expressed his disappointment and shock regarding Ryan Garcia's positive testing. He said, that's sad. You shouldn't get caught with that. You could do all your meds and stuff, but never should that be a problem. I took stuff like Ryan and I was never caught. He's denied it so far, so let's see what the B test says. But he should be smarter with it next time. Beautiful fight, right? Yeah, great fight. What do you think about the rematch possibly taking place again? Definitely rematch. What you make of Ryan's performance? Great performance. After the fight, as he walked out of the arena, he was asked about his thoughts on the match and he said, great fight, yeah, great fight. Asked on his thoughts about a possible rematch, he responded, definite rematch. 
He was also queried on what he made of Ryan Garcia's performance, great performance, he said, and also added, Devin just has that. It wasn't his day. It's not over for Devin. He'll be champ again. Also, he was asked to leave a message for the fighters, Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. Fight each other again, he quickly responded. The reporter then mentioned a fighter who is arguably Mike Tyson's best at the moment and who the baddest man on the planet has famously dubbed as the fighter who has the closest similarities with him during his prime. The reporter mentioned Pitbull Cruz to see if Mike Tyson would favor any of both fighters fighting Isaac Cruz. However, Tyson replied, they should fight each other first. That was a beautiful fight. Have to have to get another day. It's not over for Devin. He'll be champ again. 100% he'll be champion. Any message to Devin I'm Haney and any message to Ryan Garcia? They should fight each other again. Notably, Mike Tyson spoke about Ryan Garcia being smarter with his use of performance-enhancing substances. Well, while Tyson was never caught in such a mess, he'd openly admitted to using a cover-up severally to avoid being caught. Former undisputed world heavyweight champion Mike Tyson is one of the athletes to admit to using a device called a Wizinator, a prosthetic penis that someone trying to get away with using another person's urine to pass a substance test. In a conversation on his podcast, Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson, he spoke with Jeff Nowitzki, the vice president of athlete health and performance for the UFC, and explained his exploits with the device. It was awesome, man, Tyson said. I put my baby's urine in it. And sometimes, one time I was using my wife's and my wife was like, baby, you better not hope that it comes back pregnant or something. And I said, nah, so we ain't gonna use you anymore. We're gonna use the kid. Cause I got scared that the piss might come back pregnant. While the potential pregnancy scare was accounted for, something that Novitsky says has certainly happened before, there apparently was another part that Tyson had to make sure he took care of. The device's color. Did you have the right color Wizinator? Novitsky asked. Because there was that NFL guy last season with a white one. Yeah, hell yeah, I had a brown one. This guy was so freaking macho, he was scared. I whipped it out and he was like turning, hey man, take the freaking cup. This macho guy, he didn't want to look at me and stuff. Tyson did not get into specifics about what he was trying to make sure testers didn't see in his urine, but he has mentioned in the past that he wanted to avoid getting caught for his use of some substances that could lead to a positive result. The youngest heavyweight champion in boxing history never tested positive for performance enhancing. However, while Mike Tyson spoke more considerably, as he had always maintained a neutral stance, other professionals of the sport father picked their sides of the fence. In a scathing response to Ryan Garcia's recent failed tests, UFC star Conor McGregor launched a blistering attack, offering to fight the boxer and calling for a lifetime ban. Having originally congratulated Garcia on the victory, he demanded the 25-year-old to be given a lifetime ban. On Thursday night, UFC star McGregor let rip in a post that he has unsurprisingly since deleted. McGregor also called out Garcia and UFC bantamweight champion Sean O'Malley. You want to know when you use the two biggest names in the division? I want to see it again. Yeah. I want to yeah. see it again now, and I want to see it when nobody has this McGregor, known for his outspoken nature, took to social media to express his disgust, initially congratulating Garcia before the failed test result and now demanding a lifetime ban for the 25-year-old boxer. McGregor went further, challenging Garcia and UFC bantamweight champion Sean O'Malley to a spar, offering to cover expenses. Cheated the weight and was juiced, lifetime ban, McGregor wrote. In a fierce post that has since been deleted, he continued. Sad to see, sad to say, sad and a bit sick. Don't come near me if I see you ever, Ryan Garcia. I am actually disgusted. This Osterine reminds me of Sean O'Malley was on that as well. I don't like this. I'll bust you both up. Do you want to spar? I will set the flights right now for you both for a full-on spar each. McGregor's offer for a spar was accompanied by a warning. Hotel, Black Forge in the lot. Sean O'Malley and Ryan Garcia, two little Osterine heads, I'll ride you both like you are ostriches. What the hell is up? What do you think you're at? McGregor then suggested if he were Haney's father, Bill Haney, there would be grace consequences. If I was Haney's sick dad, you're dead no matter what for doing that. Crazy! What the hell happened to you, you little fool? He then praised Devin Haney for his heroic performance saying, get your head together because I'm going to smash it in with elbows if you don't. Fair play, Devin. Well done. Your performance has just become even more heroic. Bravo. Get your head together or kill yourself. 
What's up, everybody? Uh, I came on here to address this <clears throat> bull fucking shit claim that I cheated. Lies. Yep. Everybody knows that I don't cheat. Um, mm -mm. What can I say? You know, uh, why didn't they come out with. Also, Gervonta Tank Davis, who stopped Garcia in seven rounds last April, put out a series of tweets appearing to defend his former rival and hit out at Hearn, who did not promote the fight but is a part of Haney's team and was at the fight in Brooklyn. In a now-deleted tweet, the 29-year-old wrote, they are doing anything to take the win from Ryan. If that's the case, banned Eddie Hearn's silver poon ass. Hearn and Davis have had several social media back and forths in recent months, including after Tank leaked Hearn's offer for him to face Connor Ben earlier this year. The matchroom boss has not taken kindly to his comments, but says he will resist legal action against him. I should sue Gervonta Davis for defamation, Hearn told a news source, but honestly I can't be bothered because the guy puts a tweet up and then takes it down again. If you've got something to say, say it, stand by your words. So you're suggesting that I was involved in Ryan Garcia testing positive with VEDA? Do me a favor. I've had many fighters test positive with VEDA and I've never once gone. Someone's out to get me and there's probably many that are. I DM'd him. I said you talk some stuff you do because he's done it before to me. If I've said something he doesn't like, he's DM'd and I'll do the same. By trying to take my victory, fuck them, fuck these motherfuckers, tell them to suck my dick. I beat Devin Haney fair and square, he could suck my dick. All you motherfuckers that say I cheated, you guys could all suck my dick. According to boxing insider Dan Raphael, who first reported the news, Garcia screened positive for Nor and Drosterone, although this is subject to IRMS analysis and is not confirmed. King Rai, who missed weight by 3.2 pounds the day he returned his first positive test, has denied that he knowingly took performance enhanced prior to dropping Haney three times and relieving him of his undefeated record. Hearn suggested that Haney would now push for the result to be overturned to a no contest, whilst Garcia has 10 days to request a B sample. What's up, everybody? Uh, I came on here to address this <clears throat> bull fucking shit claim that I cheated. Lies. Yeah. Everybody knows that I don't cheat. Um, mm -mm. What can I say, you know? Uh, why didn't they come out with this? Shockingly, former NFL star Antonio Brown had formerly predicted something fishy about Ryan Garcia and had silently accused him of taking a substance ahead of the fight. However, Antonio Brown thought it was just medications to solve his mental illness that eventually had some impacts on his performance as well. It's surprising that Antonio Brown held on to his earlier claims that Ryan Garcia had some mental illness, especially after the boxer had repeatedly been seen denying any illness in interviews. In fact, he began disavowing his antics right there in the ring immediately after the fight. Come on guys, you really thought I was crazy? Garcia bellowed during his in-ring interview after the fight. You guys lost your own mind, he told the cheering crowd. I just knew I had control after that, Garcia said. It's hard to recover from big shots. You know, maybe my conditioning wasn't my best, but at the end of the day, I got the job done, Ryan Garcia said after the bout. Yeah, I, I just knew I had control after that. It's hard to recover from big shots. And, um, you know, maybe my conditioning wasn't my best, but, you know, at the end of the day, I got the job done. I don't know, Garcia said when asked about the move. I have ADHD, so I just started doing random things. To Ryan Garcia... One of the reasons why he ensured he won the match wasn't just to put an end to the argument of who was better between him and his age-long rival, but to also shun his haters who have largely grown over the past weeks, especially as he kept showing up with the weirdest and most disgusting acts. Speaking after the match, he said, You guys hate on me because I'm pretty and expletive, he said. At the end of the day, I've been boxing all of my life and all I do is love God and try to help the children and you guys straight hate on me. You guys do not love the truth. But rage did not rule Garcia after the fight. You guys hate on me because I'm pretty and shit. Man, that's fucked up. At the end of the day, I've been boxing my whole life and all I do is love God and try to help the children and you guys straight hate on me. You guys do not love the truth. The truth is in front of you. I try to, I put my fucking reputation on the line for all the kids in the world and everybody's fucking staying quiet but me. You feel me? I'm just kidding. Man, can't you guys take a joke, man? 
However, Antonio Brown remains of the belief that Ryan Garcia had some mental illness and the medications he used impacted his performance and gave him his victory. He continued to be unhinged online as he has suggested that Ryan Garcia's recent peculiar behavior might be linked to chronic traumatic encephalopathy CTE or the use of medications. This came amid Garcia's erratic actions leading up to his much-anticipated fight against Devin Haney. Brown took to X, formerly Twitter, posting an image that depicted Sesame Street characters surrounded by a significant amount of illegal medications. Captioned, Ryan Garcia and crew celebrating the win, followed by the hashtag, hashtag CTSPN. CTE, a progressive degenerative disease found in individuals who have suffered repeated concussions and traumatic brain injuries, is commonly discussed within the context of football and boxing. The disease is known to affect behavior and decision-making, leading to severe consequences for some athletes. According to experts at the Indiana University School of Medicine, the repeated head impacts associated with sports like boxing can lead to this condition. However, the reality was a little different from what Antonio Brown thought, and Ryan Garcia would be facing a B test. Should he test positive again, a bigger punishment awaits him. But what are your thoughts about Ryan Garcia's positive results? You really think he was guilty? Let's know your thoughts in the comment section. For the very best updates on news, moments, events, and actions in the world of boxing, stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and don't forget to turn on notifications to get alerted when we drop quality contents like this. Until next time, peace out.